boy Brymar coming at you with another episode on this channel and in today's episode we're walking you guys through in a day in the life and I'm doing some CEO stuff today so I'm gonna be making some payroll moves basically a business is about making sure your profits are high and expenses are lower so we're gonna be taking a look at some of our expenses so sit back relax and enjoy the episode let's go okay I need protein I'm Jersey <laughs> Champions, it's your motherfucking boy, B Mark Fit, coming at you with a new type of content y'all never seen on this IG. All right, so as you guys are tuning in, what I want you guys to do is tag five of in the comments. And we're coming at you guys with a new style of content that you guys have never seen on Instagram, and it's called Rise. It's called energy, it's called passion, it's called intensity, and it's called an experience that you've never had before. So if you are new here, motherfucking welcome. Now I want to talk about why. I designed this coaching call called Rise, right? Now this live stream, this energy, this passion, the reason that this is here is because inside of the Change Lives Academy, we've got all of these like blueprints, right? We got all these step-by-step -step processes. We got all these things that are gonna help online coaches grow a successful online business. We've got the mindset training. We've got the support in the group. We've got everything that online coaches need to succeed. Like, what the fuck is missing? from these students, like what is it inside of these students that isn't allowing them to step into their power? Why aren't these students recognizing how great they actually are? What the f is going on inside of these individuals that's making them not hit $10,000 a month? And then I realized, I was like, yo, these motherfuckers are missing some energy. That, the reason that you're broke is, the reason that you're fat is you have too much compassion for yourself. You're giving yourself an out. You don't have high enough standards for yourself. And yet every single day you can complain about how your life's not getting any better, but your standards are dog shit. Everybody just fucking coddles you. And as a result of getting sympathy for your bullshit, you stay in the same place. Are, are you the type of mother that rises up and is like, I'm the one. I am the mother storm. The recession. I'm Brian the Mark. Wake the fuck up and remember who you are. Shit. <gasps> ah! Fucking 70 people on my new live. What the fuck? Mm. Ow! That's the shit I like to fucking see, dog. Ah. I love it. I'm so excited. Right now, I'm going. I want to post a fire cover photo with it. This is hard. This is hard. This is, hard. This is really hard, guys. You gotta find that cover photo. Dude, I literally made a commitment to myself. I'm like, this is the first one I'm doing in public. I'm like, they have to fucking know who the fuck I am. Let's go. This one right here. All the photos you took are fire. That one's fucking lit. Shit. Shit. Well, that was fucking sweet. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing today because I'm so lit. What the fuck's going on today? I don't even know, dog. Okay, so um, after Rise, I usually am like very fucking enthusiastic and energetic. So I am going to take a look at my schedule and I'll let you guys know, yeah, there it is. This thing I've got is mentoring my second in command at 8 a.m. So we're gonna be uh, just making sure that the business is moving smoothly. And then from nine, I have nothing at nine. So I feel like nine is when we should do, yeah. Nine is when we should do like filming like, uh, like content and uh, photos, etc. Cool. And then 10 o'clock, I've got my podcast. I've got a call with my man, Nate, at 11. It's not gonna be a fun call for him, but that's all right. That does happen frequently. And then uh, payroll with Christy, and then I've got meetings all afternoon. So, and the afternoon, it's gonna be like meeting. So the only time we'll have to really do like content is um, nine to 10. Cool. Yeah. Lit. Sweet. Eight years ago, I struggled with a drug addiction, I hated my life, and I was flat broke. Now, in order for me to get sober and start working on building my life, I literally had to kill the old version of myself. The excuses, the justifications, the partying, the fret, the fuck. The excuses, the justifications, the social circle, the friends I was hanging out with, all of that was not conducive to my success, and so I literally had to kill the old version of myself. I had to become a new beast. Now when we're talking about becoming a new person, we also are talking about the death of the old. 
Now the death of the old version of you is going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. It's going to be painful because all of the things and all the... Uh, now the death of the old version of yourself is going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be painful because all the things that you used to say to yourself to keep yourself stuck at a little level, you can't say to yourself anymore, which means that you don't have any excuses. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> so all of the things, fuck my life. So in order to kill the old, fuck my life. This is going to be a painful process because death implies that there's parts of you that you can no longer service. There's parts of you that you can no longer listen to. Death is a painful process. Now death itself is a painful process because you need to let go of all of the old stories. Let go of friends that are holding you back. Let go of all the excuses that you've used to keep yourself from being successful. That's also the beauty of it. Like imagine when the caterpillar becomes the butterfly. I don't imagine that's a painless experience, but it is a beautiful one. That's when you start creating your character. That's when you start setting goals about the type of person that you want to become. And at first you won't believe it, especially if you spent your whole life as a loser, drug addict, fat, overweight, etc. But again, you have to kill that version of you. You have to kill the overweight identity, the fat. But again, you have to kill the fat version identity, kill the overweight identity, kill the lower level of yourself that kept you stuck for such a long period of time. Eight years ago, I was a drug addict and now I live in a 6,500 square foot mansion and I truly believe that this sort of life is possible for anybody. But you can't reach the next level of your life while hanging on to the last one. That's the one. So, I've made a commitment that with my new TikTok, I don't really care about like, the amount of views that I get, I care more about the message that I'm delivering. So all my videos need to have an impactful message. So I'm currently creating a video that has an impactful message so that I can help somebody change their motherfucking life. Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double. All right, check this out. The old version of you needs to die if you want to become successful. Eight years ago, I struggled with a drug addiction. I hated my life and I was flat broke. Now, in order for me to get sober and start working on building my life, I literally had to kill the old version of myself. The excuses, the justifications, the social circle, the friends I was hanging out with, all of that was not conducive to my success, and so I literally had to kill the old version of myself. I had to become a new beast. Now, death itself is a painful process because you need to let go of all of the old stories, let go of friends that are holding you back, let go of all the excuses that you've used to keep yourself from being successful. But that's also the beauty of it. Like imagine when the caterpillar becomes the butterfly. I don't imagine that's a painless experience, but it is a beautiful one. And that's when you start creating your vision. That's when you start creating your character. That's when you start setting goals about the type of person that you want to become. And at first you won't believe it, especially if you spent your whole life as a loser, drug addict, fat, overweight, etc. But again, you have to kill the fat version identity, kill the overweight identity, kill the lower level of yourself that kept you stuck for such a long period of time. Eight years ago, I was a drug addict and now I live in a 6,500 square foot mansion and I truly believe that this sort of life is possible for anybody. But you can't reach the next level of your life while hanging on to the last one. Listen to this. Oh no, I just posted without a fucking caption. Maybe <laughs> it was meant to be. I literally lose my sunglasses once a day, every day. I have three pairs too and for some reason all of them are gone. Cord, it's in there. You know how you're feeling right now? Yeah. That's how I feel every time my stuff's I feel great. Oh, my cord? You love looking for her. It's really nice. Can you do that more often? But yeah, my sure. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I love you. Ryan likes to keep every, he, like, he, so that protein's on the counter come because here. it's convenient. He's come like, on. it's convenient. I'm like, come it doesn't look nice. Okay, give me your glasses. No, you, you told me that I could have your Give me yourself. your little purse. Give me your little man purse. Come here. Give me your let me, let me, okay, let me. you give me your man purse. No, 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 you said, you said, you said, you said, you said. You said that I could hide your stuff, so okay, I would like and to, you, and I would like to hide your phone. I strongly dislike when you hide my stuff, but you said you I like it. I don't hide it. I put. Okay, in the book that I'm reading, it says that every item in your house should have a home. A home is not on top of the. Bucket yes, it is. Bucket. No, it's That's not. That's the home for my protein. I'm juicy. I have gains that need to be fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just went out and did some photos and videos, and now we are about to sit down and do pot chats. I'm here with my boy Cole, and uh, we're gonna rock and roll. So Cole and I, every Wednesday, we host a coaching call inside of the Change Eyes Academy, the number one coaching program for online coaches, where we let our students ask us anything on the podcast. So uh, we'd love to get into it. What's up, bruh? Welcome 
how can, how can we get closer to you today? You start the day by being like, I'm the f***ing one. I make $10,000 a month. I'm a bad bitch. And then you spend all day being obsessed with hitting that. It is easy. It is easy. And I want to touch on what Cole just said because Cole just like, for all the f***ing motherfuckers that are like, it's not that easy. Cole, f*** you. The difference between 5K and 10K is f***ing mindset. Period. It's f***ing mindset. We need to come over here. We need to record this. We're gonna, we need to record this. August will be the month that Abby hits 10K. Go ahead and say it. Let's fucking go. Stevie likes lift. He wants to fucking go hard. And so that's his Instagram name, by the way. Then you've got to be committed to it. And like, you got to become a no matter what motherfucker. <laughs> ah, I'm going in. Okay, listen. All of you motherfuckers that listen to all these success motivation videos that get all fucking juiced up. They're like, I fucking do this. I listen to Alex. I listen to Cole. I listen to Brian. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. If you're listening to us and you're not doing anything it's a fucking waste of space if you're gonna listen to us you need to do the fucking thing so steven you need to get fucking angry at yourself you need to go to the fucking mirror and be like you've been fucking lazy uncommitted not disciplined making fucking excuses and it ends today Fuck that R repeat after me i'm ready to go all in i'm, ready to go all in. I'm sick of my bullshit Sick of my bullshit. Nah, f that. You ain't sick of it. You're just insane. Why the f are you even here? Say it like you f mean it. Five out of ten. I'm sick of my bullshit. Do you want to provide for your f***ing wife? Do you want to be the f***ing husband that she wants? Do you want to be the man of the f***ing house or not? I do. Then f***ing say it like you mean it. I'm sick of my own bullshit. I'm sick of my own bullshit. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. It starts today. Today. That's the fucking mentality, dog. You feel that? I got a call right now. Welcome to my life. What up, dog? How you doing? Cool. Okay, so um, the reason I'm asking is because I want to uh, be fully transparent with you. So the videos that I've gotten back from you are uh, they're, they're not hitting as hard as I thought they were going to. Go to go to your Instagram. I want you to go to the pinned video on your page. That is like the level of video that I like want from you and that I'm like looking for and I haven't really seen a lot of those in the videos that you sent me. We're set all the strategy of taking all of those, those kind of like talking head videos and yeah. capturing those. Um, and then we're just gonna like put them up there and just like put them up there and just like do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Like, so can I, can I kind of speak freely on the strategy here? Go ahead. I want to see that shit hit a million for whatever, you know, like, That's what I want, too. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. I, I, I honestly went into that call. Well, I, I can't be upset because we haven't talked about a strategy. Something needed to change and so a difficult conversation needed to be had. I'm glad it was like received well. Like I feel like you received it super well. So um, yeah, that was it. That was that was the freaking that was the freaking thing. Right, so I just finished up my call with Nate. We had to talk about the content strategy for the next month, figured out exactly what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm excited about that. And now we're gonna head over to the gym and uh, I've got some back-to-back um, -back meetings at the gym. I've got a monthly leadership meeting with my uh, Iron Energy team, or sorry, with my PT Dom team. We've got a meeting with Christy about payroll and then we've got the Iron Energy meeting. So it's gonna be back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we are heading into Iron Energy Gym, and I'm going to set the intention of being a clear and decisive leader in today's meetings. Let's get it. Yeah, I just need to know who's on the schedule, who are we paying, how much are we paying, them, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, payroll should, needs to be around 30%. And now we're at 4,600. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk. How do they contact you if they're interested in hiring you, Amber? Okay. <laughs> we get everybody to show up to the master class. We over deliver, we can blow their minds, me and Cole can come on stage, the crowd goes wild, it goes crazy. And then after that, then we switch to the we'll start marketing the virtual event. Anybody write that down? Because I'm gonna forget that. <laughs> Everybody get on your feet. 
We're fucking done the vlog. Did you like it? Then subscribe and stop no, being a fucking sheep. Stop, stop it. Stop that. <laughs> I asked Cole to come into my vlog to say what's up, but guys, um, we just had the end of, at end of the day. I literally was in a meeting back to back to back to back, pretty much from 8 a.m. all the way until 3 o'clock, and same. I think you were the same. Yeah, same. Um, Wednesdays, usually Wednesdays are like very busy for us, uh, and it was like a continuous thing. And then recently, I think it was ever since the last time we went to Bedros, it's just been every day. Literally every day. I'm like, me and him like talk about our schedules and it's like 8 a.m. start time. And then around like 5 p.m. it slows the f down. But it's usually meeting, meeting, call, client call, gym, PT domination, this podcast. It's just how our lives are now. And I, I think that like, it's not a bad thing. I actually love it. And when I'm not like this, I'm like, I get so bored so easily, so fast. And so I like being high at energy. And I think he's the exact same way. That's which is why we flow so well together. 100%. I actually want to touch on something here because we had this conversation um, we had this conversation. I want to lean right into B for a minute because the <laughs> mic is here. There was somebody who asked this question in our mastermind, all right? And they were like, what should I be doing for my current business and in my life? Because right now I feel like I need to have some sort of balance. I need to stop working because everybody keeps telling me to stop working. I need balance, but all I want to do is grind. And I think there's times you need to and embrace that shit. You need to. Yeah. We fucking love working. Like even when we're not supposed to be, like, I'm on my phone. We're on our 7, phone. 6, 30, 7 p.m. at night, like replying to a client. Like, Kirsten goes to the washroom. I send, I send a voice note. <laughs> client. Like, I do it. I it do do 100%. that. 100%. So I think there's there's seasons if you want to be ultra successful. If you want to be successful, then be comfortable with taking breaks or whatever, and like like set the schedule Weak. that works for fucking you. All right, set the schedule that works for you. Weak. But if you want to be part of the one percent, show the fuck up no matter what, all day, every day, period. Guys, right? and that's the mentality, right? It's like I, it's like champions understand the difference between being lazy and taking rest. And for me, I think it's about like working for, like if you really wanna be successful, you wanna fucking hit the next level, you wanna have a 20,000 square foot gym, you wanna have a 6,500 square foot mansion, you wanna be making millions of dollars a year. It's about like getting yourself to the place where like you will work literally as long as you possibly can until you can no longer be productive and then at that point you rest just enough to get back to work. That's the fucking grind. Like that's actually what it takes. That's what it fucking yeah, takes, bro. I, I agree. Literally. Literally. People talk about balance and it makes me fucking laugh. Yo, there's no balance in my life. There's scheduled breaks. Like today, Literally. I have a scheduled massage where I get to go relax for an hour and a half and then as soon as I'm done with the massage, I have three other meetings I need to do that are already fucking scheduled. Like that's my balance, mother. It's scheduled shit in my fucking calendar because if it's not in there, I just work until I pass the fucking. People are complaining that they don't have the fucking time. They I'm get off, tired. they get off, and they fucking watch fucking Netflix I'm and they burnt wonder out. why their fucking life is changing. I'm burnt out, bitch. You've worked for a fucking day. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shit. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wow, bro. <laughs> don't follow him. Follow me. Don't follow him. Follow me, guys. Hope you guys have the best of your entire life. Tell a friend about this channel. We going big, baby. Bigger than Gary Vaynerchuk. That's the goal. Chase your motherfucking dreams. Let's go.